Hello, welcome to Just Love for Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. We welcome you here in the name of Yeshua. This is the channel where we encourage you to establish a personal relationship with the Almighty God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. We welcome you to our early morning, 3 a.m. morning prayer and ministration to the Lord. Early in the morning, early in the morning, early in the morning, we have risen and praising you, Lord. Let us come now together. At Christ's gathering, come now together, for we are one. For when we are together, Christ is with us. Come now together, for we are one. This is Majestilla's adapted song, composed on the on Thursday, the eighth of April, twenty twenty one. This is another adapted song. We're going to sing now to the Lord. Invisible God, immortal God, enlightened, accessible, dwells in heaven, most gracious, most merciful. The orders and spirit, almighty victorious, his great name we pray. Invisible God, immortal God, Enlightened, accessible, dwells in heaven, most gracious, most merciful, the oldest and spirit, almighty, victorious, his great name we pray. Holy Spirit, take control, come and take control. Holy Spirit, worship with us, come and worship. Holy Spirit, take control. Come and take control. Holy Spirit, worship. Come and worship with us. Before we read the Bible, we always pray so that the Holy Spirit can come and minister to us. And give us the meaning of what we are reading as we cannot read the bible as a textbook we read the bible for revelation and one of the ways that god speaks to us is through the bible through dreams through vision through spirit so let us pray Almighty God, everlasting God, maker of heaven and earth, 
in whom there is no impartiality. Your name is Jehovah. You are the I am that I am. Merciful God. Thank you for Jesus. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Emmanuel, the Messiah. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We come to give you praise this morning. We come to order the day, to command the day, to favor us. The word of God says we have not because we ask not. In the name of Jesus, this morning we come before your throne, almighty God. On our own, we cannot approach your throne. Because our righteousness before you is like a filthy rag. But when we come in the name of Jesus, with Jesus holding us with his right righteous hand. With his right, right righteous hand. We are righteous. So in the name of Jesus, we come this morning, Almighty God. Grant us today our going out and our coming in be ordained by your Holy Spirit. Help us, O oh Lord, in all our undertakings. Help us to be righteous. You are a holy God and you will not dwell where there is iniquity. We command today in the name of Jesus to favor us, to favor our families, to favor all those who profess Jesus as Lord and personal Savior and who are worshiping you in truth and in spirit. We condemn all contrary spirit to God's spirit. The weapon of destruction will not locate us, will not locate our businesses, will not locate our professions, will not locate our work, will not locate our families in the name of Jesus. The name above all names. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that those who are waiting upon you, they will have their miracle. They will not lose focus. Lord Almighty, we pray that you come into our lives and do not depart. We thank you for all the answered prayers. And we are asking in Jesus' name from you this morning, Lord, that you strengthen us. That you continue to grow our faith. Let us walk daily and put on Christ in all that we do. Forgive us our sins, O Lord, and let us not remain in iniquity. Let us not go back and be unequally yoked with non-believers. Help us, Lord, to fulfill our purposes. Show those who do not know the secret of their being, show them the secret of who they are, Lord, so that they can walk in their purposes. Almighty God, everlasting King of kings, our maker in whose image male and female are made, and thou who has given us equal dominion, male and female, to go and rule the earth and the fish of the sea, the birds of the air. We ask you this morning that each and every one of us fulfill our purpose before we depart this earth. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Choose us, Lord, for your purpose. Let us praise you without ceasing. Lord, every part of us that needs perfecting, perfect it, Lord. Meet each and every one of us at our point of need. And we come to say thank you for the miracles that you have performed, that you performed, the, the miracle of life. Lord, we pray for those who are depressed. Right now, Lord, we ask that the Spirit of God visit them. Take them out of the deepest peace that they are and the feel that they cannot get out. Shine your light, O oh Lord Jesus, 
into their lives that they know they can come to you because your word says come to me all ye who are burdened and heavy laden and i will give you rest Lord, let them call upon you because you said whoever calls upon you, you will know why it's cast away. Lord, this morning we thank you. Our going out and our coming in is ordained by you and is safe by you. Keep us safe. Keep our families, our loved ones, keep them safe. Anywhere they are, become solely ground for them. Let the eyes that see us and see our loved ones see your glory in us. Help us, Lord, not to be in the company of gossips. Help us, Lord, to know when to speak and speak your truth. Help us, Lord, when to have the silence you want us to keep and just observe. Lord, let us have the spirit of discernment. Help us, Lord, to run this race and run it well. In your name, Jesus, we pray this morning that it is well with us. You have not given us the spirit of fear, but you have given us the spirit of love and of sound mind. Lord, in your mercy, those who are still harboring fear, Lord, we pray that you strengthen them because fear is not of God. Give us your spirit, Lord, that we can do all things through you, Christ, who strengthen us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for answered prayer. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray this morning. It is well with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reading this morning is taken from 1 Thessalonians. We continue our reading with 1 Thessalonians. We are now in chapter 4. Finally, then brothers, we ask and encourage you in the Lord Jesus that as you have received from us how you must walk and please God as you are doing, do so even more. For you know that commands we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For you know what commands we gave you through the Lord Jesus. Verse 3. For this is God's will, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality, so that each of you knows how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not with lustful desires, like the Gentiles who don't know God. This means one must not transgress against the defraud. Verse 6, this means one must not transgress against and defraud his brother in this matter because the Lord is an avenger of all these offenses as we also previously told and warned you for God has not called us to impurity but to sanctification therefore the person who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit. About brotherly love, you don't need me to write to you. You don't need me to write to you because you yourselves are taught by God to love one another. In fact, we are doing this towards all the brothers in the entire region of Macedonia. But we encourage you, brothers, to do so even more, to seek to lead a quiet life, to mind your own business, and to work with your own hands 
as we commanded you, so that you may walk properly in the presence of outsiders and not to be dependent on anyone. We do not want to be uninformed, brothers, concerning those who are asleep, so that you will not grieve like the rest who have no hope. Since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, in the same way, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep through Jesus. For we say this to you by a revelation from the Lord. We who are still alive at the Lord's coming will certainly have no advantage over those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the archangel's voice, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are still alive will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. This is Apostle Paul's letter to the Thessalonians. May the Lord reveal to us